Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crown Tundra DLC. Today, we're going to be trying to capture Electivire. And hopefully the other two as well, if all goes well. Um, if you guys want to know uh, what the date is, in case you're having a hard time getting an Electivire and maybe you want to change the date on your Switch, I don't do that, but you know, maybe some other people want to do that. Uh, it's currently November 1st, 2020. So, there you go. And this is over in the Frigid Sea, uh, where Kabalion is, or however you say that Pokemon's name. <laughs> uh, I get Pokemon names wrong all the time. Thunderbolt. Damn. I hope this Pokemon doesn't have a self-hitting move. Please don't have a self-hitting move. Giga Impact. Oh god, that's really good. Jeez. Alright, we got a little bit of time. Oh my god, am I gonna get it lucky? Oh, of course not. Why would I ever get lucky? Come on, that's twice now. Light screen. It's not like I'm gonna hit you anymore. So that was kinda pointless. Oh, come on. Don't be one of those, Electivire. Oh, great. So now he's just popping out all the time now. in there, Panda. You got this. I, uh, I also can't, uh, I was going to uh, bring out my synchronized Pokemon, but I transferred them over to a different save file so that I could raise up a strong team really quick and breeze through the game on another file because I want to record episodes of me capturing Glacier and Rigi Alecki. He does not want to go in. Aw, oh, Panda, no. Um, I like Pokemon, I like Pokemon. Spark up. You got this. Hits, maybe. And guess we're gonna find out. Ooh, can you take a Giga Impact? Okay, yeah. Not too bad. Please just go in. Hey, the first time, please actually worked. <laughs> I swear to God, every time I say please in this series, they just pop out immediately. Alright, we got ourselves an Electivire. In terms of electrical energy output, Electivire is one of the best among all electrical or electric Pokemon. It discharges high voltage currents from its tails. And uh, we're not gonna, not gonna nickname, we're gonna send it to the box. And now, hopefully, we can get Oh, that's a sphere. I'm hoping that we can find an Electabuzz here somewhere. Can the Dewpider go away? I need to revive uh, Panda as well. I know for sure that they spawn. Yeah, there they go. There we go. Electabuzz. And, uh,. I could breed and oops, uh, get a, a uh, what is it, Ellie Kid? But I think I'm gonna look in the grass. And uh, something else that happened: <laughs> I was wandering around the map, and all of a sudden I look up into the sky because I hear a sound, 
and I just see Articuno just kind of floating around the bottom uh, I think it's Giant's bed that he was just hanging out in and I thought I had to go up to the tree in the snowy area but I guess he was wandering around the whole crown tundra so uh, I didn't battle him I don't know if he's still there but uh, I guess we'll find out in the next episode because I'm going to go back there and try to record that stuff and of course he is static or she does Alright, hopefully this one won't be as hard to capture as Electivire was. And uh, you can think about camping all you want, but we're not going camping. Crap. Two down, one to go. Now, I don't know how hard it is to get Ellie Kid. With the coming of a storm, many of these Pokemon will gather under tall trees and sit there waiting for lightning to strike. Right. Oh my god, Spiel is just charging at me. Who else was thinking that I was about to get another shiny missile? <laughs> I swear to god. I haven't gotten that episode uploaded yet. I'm not sure if it's the next episode that goes up or not. Uh, I just uploaded episode 9. can't remember if it's 10 or... Hmm. It's been a while. Should try to get my shiny feel over to this game. Don't. Every time I see a mine junior, it's gonna be like flashbacks of a dark time. Should really get rid of the paralysis. Oops, did not mean to open you. Freaking low time on that. Uh, full heal. And another hyper potion. Because why not? A bird knight. Yeah, I definitely don't want one of those. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not a big fan. I, I don't mind Bergmite. It, it's its evolution that I don't... That thing. <laughs> I don't like it that much. I'm sorry if other people do. Sweet. There we go. I like it. Let's see how long it takes to capture this thing. So we got two females and a male. Ooh, oh, and I got paralyzed again. <laughs> God damn it. Thunder? Oh, he does the same. Okay. So they. They brought that in. Oh, that's, uh. I remember Paul's LA kid doing the swinging arm things in the anime. I don't know if that was. Ever animated like that in other games? I swear, like, every game that I've had has not had the Elekid line in, a, in friggin' ages. Like, I can't remember the last time I caught these three. It's not good at storing electricity yet. This Pokemon sneaks into people's homes looking for electrical outlets to eat electricity from. There we go! So, now that we have those three... There isn't much else left in the Crown Tundra for me to look for 
other than the uh, legendary birds. So, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to go over to where Articuno was, and hopefully it's still there. And then we'll try to capture that. I'm going to look for another Pokemon that I can put False Swipe on, because Panda is going to get destroyed by all three of those birds. And I need something that can weaken the legendary birds. So, uh, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, all those fun little things. And I will see you guys next time for more of the Crown Tundra DLC. Until then, take care everybody. Bye bye.